Hey guys, Evan Nestor here, Director of Family Ministry. So excited to continue our discussion about habits and the importance of making these decisions in our lives with our Central Short video series. And today I have the opportunity of talking about the importance of community in your spiritual health uh, for habits. Community has always been important to me. And if we look at the Bible, go all the way back to the very beginning, whenever God is piecing together the world and creation, we see him eventually reach his most prized creation, humankind. Now, the Bible tells us in Genesis 1.26, as God pieces together man, it says, let us make man in our likeness, in our image. Now, what does that mean, right? We hear this important pronoun take place in this verse. Our image and our likeness. What this teaches us is that God himself is a communal God. This teaches us about the Trinity. God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. And what this also tells us is that God is incomplete apart from living in community within himself within the Trinity. And if we are made in the likeness, in the image of God, that means that we are incomplete if we are not living in community. And we see all throughout the Bible this idea of community. The fullness of God lived out in this community as well. And even going on into chapter 2 of Genesis, God says, man is not good alone. It is important for man to be in community. Now, as Jesus begins his ministry in the New Testament, the first thing we see him do in the accounts of Matthew, Mark, and John is begin building community by calling the first disciples. So why is communal relationship so important for us? Why is it vital that we plug into a church community Uh, and live our lives in that community. Well, let's first consider this point. Community makes us stronger. Look at this verse. A person standing alone can be attacked and defeated, but two can stand back to back and conquer. The three are even better, for a triple braided cord is not easily broken. That's Ecclesiastes 4.12. What about Proverbs 27.17? As iron sharpens iron, so one person sharpens another. When we live in community with fellow believers, we're able to see new perspectives. We're able to have conversations. We're able to protect each other. We're able to learn from each other. And that's why... A community is so important. It helps us grow mentally. Community also, point number two, heals us. Listen to John 5, 13 through 16. Is anyone among you in trouble? Let them pray. Is anyone among you happy? Let them sing songs of praise. Is anyone among you sick? Let them call the elders of the church to pray over them and anoint them with oil in the name of the Lord. And the prayer offered in faith will make the sick person well. The Lord will raise them up. If people have sinned, they will be forgiven. Therefore, confess your sins to each other and pray for each other so that you may be healed. The Bible tells us that we are to carry each other's burdens. We are to care for each other's practical needs and to warn each other of sin and rejoice and mourn with each other. Now, if we're by ourselves, if we're isolated, we miss out on all of these vital parts of community, of healing together as a faith-based community. And we also learn, point three, that community pushes us forward. Now, in the book of Acts, we see the, the group of believers after Jesus has left gathered together. And they devoted themselves, the book of Acts tells us, to the apostles' teaching and to fellowship, to the breaking of bread and prayer. And everyone was filled with awe at the many signs and wonders created by the apostles. And all the believers were together and they had everything in common. 
When we live in a community of believers, we all have a common goal, a common desire of growing the kingdom, and that pushes us forward in changing the world for Christ. Now, I want to share an important, ver- an important quote with you guys by one of my favorite authors. His name was Dietrich Bonhoeffer. And this comes from a book called Life Together, one of my favorite books. And I think this quote is so practical, so important to what we are experiencing right now during COVID. Listen to this. It is easily forgotten that the fellowship of Christian brethren and sisters is a gift of grace, a gift of the kingdom of God that any day may be taken from us, which it has been. Community has been taken from us. That the time that still separates us from utter loneliness may be brief indeed. Therefore, let him who until now has had the privilege of living a common Christian life with other Christians, praise God's grace from the bottom of his heart. Let him thank God on his knees and declare, it is grace, nothing but grace, that we are allowed to live in community. The Christian community is never complete. It is never full. It is never closed. And it always desires more. My hope for you guys is that as we see the light at the end of this tunnel and COVID comes to an end, that we begin to plug ourselves back in to the local church, to local faith-based communities, that we may reap the rewards of community and resume growing in spectacular ways, surrounded, as the Bible calls it, by a great cloud of witnesses. Uh, If you guys are looking for ways to to get plugged in here at Central, you can contact myself or uh, Pastor Scott or Pastor Audrey, and we would be happy to work with you. Talk about your gifts and your talents and look for areas that you want to grow in. That way you can find a Sunday school class, a small group, a ministry that you desire to invest in. We look forward to the changing times and can't wait to celebrate community with each of you. We'll see you guys later.